this illness was coming to me so that I could learn how to heal my own body. Yes. She had studied with Alberto Vialdo and the Four Winds Society, the, the last descendants of the Inca, and how chronic pain can be so deeply linked with the subconscious mind. I went on this long journey of self-healing for the next four years, dedicating every day to learning everything I could about healing myself because I felt that this illness was coming to me so that I could learn how to heal my own body. Yes. And hopefully in turn, help others to do the same. But I had to figure it out from the inside out and ultimately I had to do it for myself before doing it for anybody mm -hmm. else. Um, so I went on that path and eventually found some supplements um, through a doctor that I was working with to really support my body and my uh, mitochondria, my, you know, some enzymes that were really low in my body. A few years after taking the supplements, I was still in a lot of pain, so it wasn't doing everything for me. And then I started working with a medicine woman who was doing shamanic energy work with me. She had studied with Alberto Vialdo and the Four Winds Society. Okay. Um, and really gave me some tools to help run energy through these broken energy lines that were showing up in my body to heal on the, the mental and emotional level from the trauma that had helped to cause all this bo body pain. I started to really see the mind-body connection very clearly and how chronic pain can be so deeply linked with the subconscious mind. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. And um, eventually through those processes, my pain disappeared. Um, I was released back into the wild. Uh, I was basically a hermit for five years and didn't really hang out with my friends much. So going back into social life as a 22 year old, um, I had to learn a lot of things about what it meant to just yeah. <laughs> to just live in the world like this. And uh, especially from a new state of being and a new awareness. Right. You know, yeah. so not only isolation for years and refiguring things out and and healing, but then there's also a whole different perspective, right? And so it's like you go to a, you go and you live life and it's it's new again and it's not the same, it can't be the same. So, and you're different, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and I was also surrounded by people who were in their early 20s and I was, <laughs> I felt like a much different place than maybe most of the people around me in my yeah. vicinity. Um, but that was also a beautiful thing. I eventually went on to do my formal shamanic training with Alberto Vialdo and the Four Winds Society, and then with the uh, Quero in the high Andes of Peru, a beautiful lineage of wisdom keepers that preserved their medicine teachings for so long. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until around 1953 that people in Peru even knew that they existed. They were really just kind of a myth at that point, the, the last descendants of the Inca. So I journeyed to Peru and worked with them, sitting in ceremony. And these ceremonies are, they're all about gratitude. Hmm. When they pray, they're not asking for something. They're saying thank you. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.